broom closet. Why? Because when that bathtub overflows, it really overflows. <laughs> Is he going to ride his bike? He sure is. Well, I'll be right out if he's going to ride his bike. <laughs> Yes. Here's your dry cleaning. Oh, fine. You're new, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. That'll be uh, three eighty-five. All righty, I'll get my purse. <laughs> Would you hold this for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Takes all kinds. <laughs> Honey, Dennis left his scooter in the driveway again, and I. Hi. Afternoon, I'm the new laundry man. Oh, wrapping something? <laughs> no, you, your wife just went upstairs to get her purse. I'm holding her kite for her. Kite? <laughs> She's really got it up there. Here you are, three eighty-five. Thank you. Your husband's holding your kite. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Honey, what in the world are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Dennis tied his kite to the one antique we own. If I hadn't rescued it just in time, we'd have had an end table in orbit. Dennis left his scooter in the driveway again. I ran over it. Oh, honey, he'll be sick about it. Can it be fixed? I'm afraid not. It's smashed to smithereens. Well, I don't think we should buy him a new one, do you? Absolutely not. He's got to learn to take care of his things. I suppose you're right. I'm going to stand firm on this. No matter how much Dennis pleads, we're not buying him another one. <laughs> Tommy? Yeah. If you had two wheels, Mr. Wilson, I bet you'd be going a hundred miles an hour. Boys, why don't you go play somewhere else? You want me to ride up for you for a while? No, I don't. Can I ever ride on the handlebars? Dennis, this is an exercise bicycle. You're trying to get rid of your bay window, aren't you? <laughs> All right, boys, run along. Keepers, when do I get to ride it? Your time is between midnight and six in the morning. All right, now run. Scoop. Walk. Bye, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> sure, I can ride it. You want me to ride it up and down the block a couple of times to show you? I keep telling you, you're too little. How about once around the block? <laughs> Sorry, shrimp. How about if I ride it up and down the sidewalk for you? Nope. How about if we just sit on it? No, but I'll tell you what. If you deliver the Wilson's paper and your paper, I'll let you honk my horn. That's a crummy deal. You know what is it? I'll do it. Because then maybe he'll let me ride it tomorrow. Huh, Herb? We'll see. Go ahead and honk it. 
boy, I bet people really get out of your way when you honk that, huh, Herb? That's enough. <laughs> Take the papers and go deliver them. Okay, see you tomorrow, Herb. Boy, that sure is a swell bike. The new kids is better. It has a siren. Well, I get to know him. I'm going to ask my dad to get me a bike of my own. And I bet you he'll get me one, too. Just like he got me that scooter when I wanted it. Hey, Mr. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! <laughs> well, what does he want now? Here's your paper, Mr. Wilson! Oh, good. Here's your paper, Mr. Wilson! Why don't you just throw it? Okay. Watch. Right on the porch. Excuse me, Mr. Wilson. Did I hurt your stomach? Yes, you did. I was trying to hit your porch. Well, you just stay away from me or I'll speak to your father. Boy, I better talk to my dad about that bike in a hurry. See you, Tommy. <laughs> Hey, have you heard the paper come yet? No, I haven't. Maybe he threw it in the bushes. Oh, I'll go take a look. Excuse me, Dad. Here's your paper. Boy, do I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you, young man. Do you know where you left your scooter again? Uh-oh. That's right, in the driveway. And I didn't see it this time and ran over it and broke it. Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave it there. Well, it's too late to be sorry. It's broken. But you know what, Dad? You don't have to get me a new one. We have no intention of getting you a new scooter, Dennis. That's good, because what I need is a bike that's a two-wheeler and a horn that you can squeeze when you want to honk at somebody. Well, we're not getting you one, Dennis. It's time you learn to take care of the things you do have, young man. I take swell care of a two-wheeler. No, Dennis. Well, I'd even wash it every day. No, Dennis. And I wouldn't leave it in the driveway, either. No, Dennis. I guess you're worried about and ride it in the street, huh, Mom? Well, I wouldn't ride it in the street. No, Dennis. <laughs> and any time an orphan or a poor kid would ask me for a ride, I'd give it to him. No, Dennis. But jeepers, I just gotta have a bike. Just like you had to have a scooter. Well, we're not getting you one, Dennis. And that's final. But jeepers, I need it. You don't need a bike. Sure I do. I need it so I can get rid of my bay window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, young man. It just won't work. Now, you run along the play. My dad said maybe for my birthday. Me and my dad decided we'd just wait a while, too. <laughs> hey, look! Hello, Dennis. Hi, Margaret. Gee, where'd you get it? My uncle gave it to me. Can I ride it? No, you can't. But you can. Well, get off. You can if you'll play house with me after. Heck no. Okay for you, Dennis Mitchell. Margaret waits a doll head! <laughs> you know, I wouldn't have played house with her either. You know what my dad's gonna say when he hears dumb old Margaret got a bike? He's gonna say, come on, Dennis. I'm going to buy you one, too. <laughs> hey, Dad, guess what? Dennis, don't shout. Boy, are you going to be mad when I tell you something? You're going to be so mad, steam will probably come out of your ears. But you'll say, come on, Dennis, we got some shopping to do. Well, what is it? Margaret Wade got a two-wheeler. She did, huh? Well, why should I be mad? She was dead. You don't want a dumb girl getting ahead of me, do you? Dennis, I'm not going to buy you a bike. How about if I get one myself? Can I keep it? Well, in that unlikely event, yes. I'll be back in a little while, Dad. And I'll give you a ride on the handlebars. <laughs> but, honey, it's almost dinner time. Oh, he'll be here. He's... Probably out collecting bottles. That's what he usually does when he wants some money. I don't know whether I like the idea of Dennis trying to get a bike by himself. I'm proud of him. He's showing initiative, thinking for himself, learning the value of a dollar. These are the things that build character. I'm home. Well, I got my bike. Well, 
Where in the world did you get that? It used to belong to Margaret Wade. What do you mean, used to? Me and her got engaged. <laughs> what? Sure. So she gave it to me as an engagement present. <laughs> and I told her that's the only way I get engaged. Holy baloney, now he's a gigolo. <laughs> Dennis, you take that right back over to Margaret's house this very minute. Why? Well, Dennis, men don't demand a present when they get engaged to a woman. She's not a woman. She's just dumb old Margaret. <laughs> well, you take it right back anyway. And you're not engaged. Gee, the waits will be disappointed. She's just going in to tell him. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Wade. Uh, we're very sorry about that. I'm sending him back with it right away. Well, I, I don't blame you for being angry. Gee, Dad, if he's mad, I'd better talk to him. Good boy. Mr. Wade, uh, Dennis would like to speak with you. Say, Mr. Wade, Margaret asked me to come to dinner. Am I still supposed to come? Hello? 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 We must have got disconnected. <laughs> in the morning. What are you doing here? Keepers, Mr. Wilson. Did you forget? You said my time to write it was before six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How long have you been here? I don't know, but I've put five miles on it. All right, Dennis, that's enough. Mrs. Wilson and I are trying to get some sleep. You woke us up. Excuse me, Mr. Wilson. I gotta go home anyway. I gotta talk to Mom and Dad about something. <laughs> Morning, Dad. Say, I've been thinking, if I had a bike, I could run errands for you all the time. <laughs> Did you ever think of that? <laughs> Morning, Mom. You know how you're always wanting something at the market? Well, if I had a bike, I could go. <laughs> Hey, honey, wake up. I think we ought to get Dennis that bike. Mm -hmm. You do? Do what? I think we ought to get Dennis that bike. What made you change your mind? Dennis is such a swell little kid. <laughs> Dennis, what in the world are you doing up at this hour? I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about a bike so much. We're not going to get you the bike, Dennis. You might as well stop thinking about it. Now, go on back to bed. And I don't want you bringing up the subject ever again. Okay. Hey, as long as we're all up, why don't we go downstairs and have a bologna sandwich with some root beer? Yes! <laughs> And I particularly don't want him riding it at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson. Well, when he came home and woke us up, we gave him a good talking to. I don't think we'll hear about that bike anymore. <laughs> I don't know. 
Dennis doesn't give up so easily. Well, he didn't even mention it at breakfast. Just gobbled down his food and rushed off to that new boy's house to play marbles. What in the world is that? Nothing more about bikes. Eh? Where'd you get that bike? It used to belong to the new kid. Why doesn't it belong to him now? Because I want it from him playing marbles. <laughs> Take it right back. Dennis, when we told you that you could keep a bike if you got one, we didn't mean you could take it away from another child. Okay, I'll take it back. Hey, Mr. Wilson, if you're not doing anything this afternoon, would you like to play a game of marbles? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. And we don't want you taking a bike away from Mr. Wilson. Where did you think I could get one? From the store. A swell chance I'd have doing that. I haven't got any money. Poor Dennis. I bet we don't hear anything more about a bike from him. I'm home! In here, son. How are you going to do that? And what are you doing with this big bowl of beans? What did I just hear you say, Dennis? I'm going to get a bike from the Huggins Hardware Store, and it's free. What now? Who knows? They're having this swell contest where you guess the number of beans in the fishbowl. Oh, Tommy's just going to make a guess, but I'm going to count them. Dennis, just take the bowl back to the store, will you? It's Joey's. Just so I could use it, he put all his goldfish in the bathtub. <laughs> oh, well, where did you get the beans? First I got all that Joey's mom had, and then I got all that Mrs. Wilson had, and now I'm gonna get the rest from us. And I gotta hurry, cause that contest ends at five o'clock. Well, it's two o'clock now. You'll never get them counted by five. Sure I will. I got a special system. <laughs> He'll never do it. Doesn't stand a chance, but you sure have to admire his persistence. I've never seen him want anything so badly. The well, first bike is a big thing to a boy. I remember when my dad gave me my first one at Christmas. It was red. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Thanks for the beans. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Good luck, son. Your father gave you yours? Yeah. All we're giving Dennis is beans. Well, we had good reason for telling Dennis we wouldn't buy him a new one. That's right. He doesn't take care of his things. What time is it? Five after two. He'll never make it. I, uh, I suppose if a person wanted to, he could pick up one of those bowls at the five and ten. <laughs> yeah. On the way back, a person could pick up the beans at a grocery store. If he wanted to. Oh, Henry, let's stop pussyfooting. This person wants to. So does this one. We didn't say anything about not helping him win one. Let's hurry. We'll have to all those beans by five o'clock. Martha, that boy doesn't have a chance. It does seem unlikely that he could win. He has so many beans to count. I gave him two pounds. You know how I'd do it? How, George? Scientifically. I'd figure out the number of beans in a cubic inch and the number of cubic inches in a two and a half gallon bowl and just <laughs> multiply the two together. Do it for him, dear. Figure it out and then put in a guess in his name. Hmm. Yes, it might be an interesting mental exercise, but, uh, well, I don't know. You know, if he had a bicycle of his own, he wouldn't be wanting to ride yours all the time. Great, Scott. Where's my slide rule? I'll figure it out to the fraction of a bean. Honey, count by twos. Hmm? Count by twos, it'll go faster. Oh. Where was I? Oh. Henry, now I'll have to start all over again. How many have we counted? Uh, 1,400. You think we'll finish on time? Well, we'll just about make it. It's lucky we're doing this, and Dennis wouldn't stand a chance. Well, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Beans for sale! Get your beans, you little beans here! <laughs> 
How many have you sold? Fifty-two cents worth. How many is that? Five thousand two hundred. You want to buy some? No, thanks. Beans for sale. Get your bean shooter. Beans here. Five sixty-six. Oh, fiddle faddle. How are you coming, dear? Well, figuring out the number of cubic inches in the fishbowl is child's play. Uh, two and a half gallons equals 577.5 cubic inches. Oh, good. Then you're almost through. Well, no. The problem seems to be finding out the number of beans in each cubic inch. Well, that should be easy. You made that little cardboard box. Isn't that a cubic inch? Well, yes. But you see, every time I fill it and count it, I get a different number. There's a great <laughs> variation in the size of beans. <laughs> hurry, dear. It's after four. <sighs> I'm hurrying as fast as I can. One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> 100. How many is that? 3,200. Oh, honey, it's 4.30 already. We've been at this for two hours. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, Henry! Oh, honey, look at that. Do you think we can count that many and still get to the hardware store on time? No, I guess we can't. Oh, poor Dennis. He never had a chance. <laughs> well, how are the beans going? I sold 61 cents. How many have I sold? 6,100. Hey, I'm not going to pay a penny for those. There's only 88 beans there. OK, you can have them for free. <laughs> Say, mister, could you tell me what time it is, please? It's 20 minutes to 5. Gee, that's swell. I just got time for some root beer. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little guy will come dragging in here any minute now. I'm going to make some chocolate pudding for dessert. He likes that. Hello, Mitchells. Oh, hello, Mr. Wilson. Well, heard any more about the bean contest? No, not yet. Well, it's, uh, it's 5.30. I thought he might be here. Not yet, poor little guy. You know, I tried to work it out for him scientifically, but I'm afraid I didn't have much luck. Why, that was very nice of you. Oh, well, Dennis is a nice boy. <laughs> we tried counting a bowl of beans ourselves, but we ran out of time. We're not going to tell him we even tried, so don't say anything. Honey, you know, I think we ought to buy him a bike for his next birthday. Oh, Henry, I'm so glad you said that, because... I'm home! <laughs> son, you won the bike. How did you do it? I don't believe it. No, I didn't win. Tommy won this good old bike. And you know how he did it? He just guessed the number of beans. Oh, for <laughs> goodness sake. Yeah. He made me so mad, I popped him one on top of the head. <laughs> it didn't hurt him, Mom. He had his football helmet on. <laughs> well, Dennis, if Tommy won the bike, what are you doing with it? I get to use it while I teach him how to ride. <laughs> Where's Tommy? He's over at Mr. Wilson's. At my house? Well, what's he doing over there? He's on your exercise bike learning how to pedal. <laughs> 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 He's out in front watching Tommy and the other boys ride by. Poor Dennis. His birthday isn't for six months and he can get one of his own. Now Tommy stopped to talk to him. Maybe Dennis is trying to get a ride. No. Now Dennis is heading back toward the house. Well, we are probably about to get another sales pitch. Just remember our agreement. No bike until his birthday. Right. I'm home. Hi. Hi. Let's all do something. What would you like to do? Let's sing a song. What song would you like to sing? Happy birthday to me. Now, wait a minute, Dennis. Your birthday isn't for another six months. Well, it used to be six months. Now I'm going to have it next Wednesday. What do you mean? I'm getting a new one next Wednesday. Dennis, that's impossible. No, it isn't. Tommy was so glad I taught him how to ride. We're trading birthdays. <laughs> Uh, what color was the bike your father gave you, dear? Red. <laughs> Come on, son. We're going shopping for a two-wheeler. Oh, boy! <laughs> 